Hey, this is for Lily. Lily's Landing Resort in Marina on Lake Taney Como. Jackson and I are out here doing one cast today. Looks like I lost my stick on my strike indicator. Today is Saturday, the 18th of November. Let's use a toothpick. I'm up in the trophy area. Now I'm going to be drifting. Just talked to Captain David Pitt. He said it's really good with a Pepe Scud and a Zebra Midge, a red Zebra Midge. And I don't have much distance between that and my Scud. It's Pepe Scud number 12. And I'm going to fish it about three, a little over three feet deep total from the indicator. They are running just a little bit of water. Uh oh, yeah. Just a little bit of water right now. And it's just gently moving through here. I don't know. Let me look and see if it's going to tell me what they're running right now. It says five. Five megawatts. I think it's more than five. There's a little bit more current than that. But I don't know for sure. Got to back up just a little bit. That'll be my first cast right there. I'm gonna go downstream, bow first, to, so you guys don't have to look up to the sun. I'm going to move this fly just a little bit every once in a while. I normally don't move a zebra midge, but I will move the scud, give it a little bit of swim action. When I get down to the narrows, I'm going to, I've got a, a new jig that we, that. Ryan and Darren have designed and poured. It's a football jig, sculpin football jig, and it's it's heavy. It's the heaviest one that we're going to carry. Um, you know, I don't have a weight yet, but it's it's well over an eighth ounce. The one I have tied on is black. It's a black sculpin. Nothing on the first cast. And I don't have too far to drift before I'm down there. Uh, I'm not sure how to report this, but in looking at the um, the graphs that the core keeps on oxygen content and temperature, water temperature, that's when they generate. Um, when they're not running water. 
the uh, the oxygen content is basically zero. That's the the live the water that's sitting on the table rock side of the dam. Um, when they run water, it jumps up to uh, six, seven, eight uh, parts. And that's because they're injecting liquid oxygen into the water that's coming in the lake through the turbines. So the, the lines will go from zero, and it jumps up to eight, and back down to zero. And it's been like that for a couple of months. Uh, starting two days ago on the 16th, um, instead of dropping down to zero and the water's off, it's dropping down to four parts per million, but still going back up to eight when the water is running. And I pointed that out to um, Shane Bush, our fisheries biologist. Because I said, you know, there, it just there's no way Table Rock has turned because it just hasn't been cold enough. And he came back and said, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's the water temp in Table Rock is still in the low 60s. And our water coming out of the dam is still around 52, 53 degrees. And I'm not getting any bites. <laughs> it's there's one, I was going to say, crazy. Um, so I pointed that out to Shane and he came back and said, yeah, that's really strange. So the other tall tale sign of table rock turning, looks like he took the midge, is our water here gets really turbid. It gets real dirty. Them up. Uh, it'll stay that way for about a month. Well, our water here is still real clear. Oh, come on. There you go, buddy. I mean, it's stained, but it's it's pretty clear going to get a lot more turbid uh, when the lake turns over. So I don't know what's going on. Shane really doesn't have a, a good answer for it. Um, uh, the good news is, you know, we still have good water. Um, four parts is uh, the state minimum standard. So, but I, 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 you know, the, sometimes Table Rock, it's known to partially turn over. I mean, it's not all at one time. So that's might have happened. And there's some, some water that is mixed at the dam and uh, now we're seeing some of that water from the surface that has made its way down to 130 feet. I don't know, but it's, it's interesting. It doesn't really affect our fishing any, necessarily. So. But there's not a cloud in the sky. There's not a breath of wind. So not the best fishing conditions. Um, and yet they're still biting a little bit. You took the midge again.
a little bigger fish. Let's see if I can take him up without that. Oh, he's pretty heavy. If you wouldn't do that, I think I could pop you off here real quick. I'll pop my fly rod. Okay. Fumble around with this. I got him right in the nose. It should be easy to come out. Oh, that's nice. We got some cold, cooler weather coming. I hesitate to call it cold. <clears throat> but cold, windy weather will help Table Rock turn. <clears throat> that way it cools that surface temperature of Table Rock down. That's what we need. But I mean, fishing really has been good. I'm not sure if it's really gonna improve. Um, it seems like the fish get a little stinky sometimes when, it, when that water gets so turbid. Um, so it's not gonna be a, a huge event when it happens. Some years the water gets pretty, pretty bad here and we really look forward to that lake turning over to give us some good water. But this year I don't, I really don't think it's gonna make a lot of difference. It's been a very, very good fall season for fishing, for catching. I'm going to have to move towards the channel to get in deep water here. Got some guys down fishing in the narrows itself, so I think I'm going to blow through those guys here in a second and get down below and fish that sculpin. I don't want to bother them. Not watching. <laughs> Not watching. Little bigger fish. And he's wanting to go the wrong side of the boat. 
Come back over here. There we go. Gosh, he is really, really pulling. I'm putting a lot of pressure on him. You can probably tell. It's open a landing before I got to these guys. Can't even get him up to the surface. Okay. Okay. That's a nice fish. back down below these guys. <sighs> well, I hate to cut the video short, but I really didn't do very good. Um, on the football jig and um, we had some guys down here that were it's kind of questionable whether they were fishing legal or not so maybe they were maybe they weren't but they were in the frame for <clears throat> most of the time I was throwing the football jig and I don't feel right about uh, putting the video out there uh, with them in it so I'm gonna cut this one short and um, Say good evening. Thanks for watching.